the more fundamental question I want to ask you is, um, in a recent piece, I said, you know, urban planning is the spatial toolkit of white supremacy, and we can do something about it. You fell short in the punitive section of your talk. You, t you described the phenomenon, but somebody made a call that this should be the way it is. Can you speak a little bit to how this, um, I mean, both the automation and the site and the, the, the person given citations, I mean, that's a policy decision. Yes. Can you speak to it and, 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 and don't hold back? And I started by showing the racial landscape of Chicago, which was also, which is also a set of decisions in terms of where, you know, different groups live. And I'm gonna be explicit in saying one of the, I think most ironic components of that, the punitive cities, or at least the, the, the camera study is the effect of the highway, right? The highway is particularly pernicious in black neighborhoods because that's where cameras are like located right at the, at the on-ramp. Well, that highway was particularly pernicious in terms of dividing these neighborhoods. So it's almost this double, double, double threat, double, uh, um, I can't think of the word, but I think you get what I'm saying. Meaning it's, this highway is, is, is divided the neighborhood. It was part of the urban new, renewal reconstruction. It's also the line of demarcation essentially in terms of where investment gets uh, located and, and, and disinvestment on the other side. And on a daily, it's 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 ticketing residents more than other parts, other cameras in other parts of the city, right? So the cameras that are proximate to the highways, and so if that is not, that is, it's to me that is both a structural issue of structural racism, but it's in some ways it's it's an institutional racism in that sense that it could be easily mitigated, right? The structure and the logic that 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 makes this okay again and again through what now were three uh, mayoral administrations since they were first implemented that's structural based the fact that it doesn't matter that we have a black man. it's it's the, the the unquestioning practice of policymakers planners elected officials to reproduce these outcomes that are just woefully inequitable. And yet we have people in offices in, you know, both the bureaucrats and administrators that it doesn't take a lot to think about some of the data. It's, it's very transparent. And so the fact that you're not even using all the data that you're collecting, oh, all of this data-driven governance. Yeah, but <laughs> what's the point of having data-driven governance if we're only producing, reproducing the same thing? We could go on and on in terms of the ways in which um, the black and brown communities in Chicago are punished again and again and again. I, I, it's hard to find us, whether we talk about health and public health and COVID, it, it doesn't matter the issue. That's why I kept saying, look at the map. It doesn't matter the variable that you map. You get the same pattern. That's structural racism. It doesn't matter if I'm talking about health effects, ticket effects, uh, transportation. It, it doesn't matter. 